engage in a very important exercise right now. I want right now for you to upgrade your identity. You are all extraordinary women in this room. And let me just ask another question. How many of you have teenagers? OK, definitely extraordinary women. <laughs> the bad news is, is that we're still, we are 50% of the workforce, but we're not making 50% of the money, right? We all know that. We're at still about 81%, 81 cents on a dollar for men. But 45% of household income in, a married, in married couples is brought in by the woman, 45%. And 22% of all women earn more than their husbands. And we have to be proud of that because what we are doing is we are determining the uh, financial stability of our, of our families in many, many cases. And to some degree, we are determining the financial stability of our cities, our towns, and in these difficult times, even our country. Now, what do we want as women? What are we trying to get at with all of this, all of these tasks that we put upon ourselves? Well, first of all, we're very demanding. I mean, we do want to be extraordinary. But what we want to be, too, is the best of the pieces that we have chosen for ourselves. We want to be the best mom we can be. And I'm going to prove that by asking you how many of you in this room who are moms have a desire to be a middling, fair to middling mom? <laughs> Raise your hands. You know, you want, you want to be the best mom, period. The other thing is that we want to be the best employee or the best business owner, the best boss, the best project manager, whatever it is that we are. Because we don't want to be fair to middling at our jobs either. We put so much pressure on ourselves that it almost doesn't matter what our bosses think of us because we're there beating ourselves up all the time about our work. Women so deeply want to get the work done. They want to get the work done right, and they want to be part of a meaningful effort. You know, the thing is, is that we don't ask for help. And we women are really guilty of this, really guilty of this. We're going to talk about guilt in a minute. But we don't ask for help because we feel like we should be able to do it all. Pretend you are walking down the street and you see someone who's struggling with a bag and it looks like they're going to drop all the groceries out of the bag and you just know that this is not going to be pretty and the person says to, to you, could you just help me for a second readjust this? And you run over and you readjust her bag for her and she walks down the street and everything's fine. Now, you just helped her. How do you feel? Good. So let's just think about this a second. What do we assume other people are going to feel when we ask them for help? Annoyed. Annoyed. We've got it all wrong. We've got our wires completely switched here. And that's annoying because we feel good when someone asks us for help. But when we ask someone for help, we feel like we're walking on eggshells and like we shouldn't. And we don't. So we just don't. We don't ask for help. It's, it's wrong. And so the first tip I want to give you today is to ask for help. You want to have your home team. Everything is easier when you're part of a team at work, isn't it? You, don't do, you do almost nothing at work without being part of a team. So go home and build your home team. Ask for help. The thing about guilt is that it is ever-present. Everybody, every woman, especially men don't quite understand this. They don't feel as much guilt. But every woman feels a lot of guilt. And I want to encourage you to do a couple of things about this guilt. One is go home and write down what's making you feel guilty. Because I did that in my book, and I felt a lot better, and you will too. Number two is let go of the guilt. You can just carry it around on your shoulders like a gigantic weight, or you can let it go. And the question you want to ask yourself is this. How does feeling guilty serve me? Am I a better mother because I feel guilty? No, you already want to be the best mom in the world. We've already proved that out. Am I better at work because I feel guilty? No, you're already striving so hard to be the best at work that you possibly can be. So your guilt doesn't serve you. And the faster you let it go, the faster you'll be able to uh, be the best mom that you want to be and the best employee that you want to be.